I now request the distinguished delegate of Bahrain to make a statement. Thank you, Madam President. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, the most merciful and the most compassionate. Madam President and distinguished delegates, at the outset, the Kingdom of Bahrain is pleased to extend you and through you, your friendly country, the Republic of Fiji, my sincere congratulations on your assumption to the presidency of the 71st session of the United Nations General Assembly and wish you sustained success in enhancing the work of the General Assembly in the role of addressing numerous problems our world faces today. Madam President, the Kingdom of Bahrain expresses its serious concern in the current forms of extremism and terrorism in the region. The Kingdom also denounces such terrorist activities in the name of Islam. Islam rejects crimes which are inconsistent with the moderate approach of Islam and the principles of peace coexistence among all people. We regret in the fact that several states, namely the Republic of Iraq, the Syrian Arab Republic, Libya, Republic of Turkey, and the Lebanese Republic have become a breeding zone for terrorist groups and organizations and their expansions under the cover of various sectarian and religious affiliations with sole purpose of advancing their own agenda and obliterating the will of the people. With increased incidents of terrorism and extremism in our region, most notably perpetrated by the ISIS, the international community must be aware of the threats posed by these terrorists and extremist groups are expanding beyond our region to threaten the rest of the civilized world. Several countries such as the Afghanistan, Somalia, Yemen, Iraq, Syria, Libya are suffering under the hands of terrorist tak-free groups. The current collective action to come from the threat of the ISIS and other terrorist groups is to reflect the international community's common conviction to confront this imminent danger. There is no other way in front of us but to eliminate this threat. With regard to Libya, this brotherly Arab country badly needs the solidarity of all parties and unification of their efforts to go through this difficult stage and to enjoy stability under auspices of unified state and robust modern institutions. Bahrain's great appreciation for the sisterly Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan for hosting and delivering assistance to the Syrian refugees. As for the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Gulf Countries Corporation, the GCC, have tried all its effort to build up relations with this country in all possible manner, but there is no point Iran has not cooperated with the GCC. And as for Iran, we emphasize that they must withdraw from the islands that they have seized from the sisterly country of United Arab Emirates. Madam President, today, more than any time in the past, the international community is offered profitous opportunity to do justice to the brotherly Palestinian people to achieve their legitimate aspirations by recognizing their own Palestinian state in their own national territory. This would put an end to an era of bitter Arab-Israeli conflict. We again hope that the continued peace negotiations will not lead to the resurgence of terrorism. And we also hope that the state of Palestine will be living peacefully alongside the state of Israel. In conclusion, Bahrain will continue making every effort to achieve our aspiration to a secure and stable world in which all enjoy security, prosperity, and progress. I thank you, Madam President. Tab shukran.